So we're actually going to be going outside today. So that's that's exciting going outside um, since I'm still trying to get over this cold. Uh, the folks over at Ben Alari had reached out to me and asked if I wanted to take a look at some of their motorcycle products. Now, most of their motorcycle gear, from what I had seen, was all kind of Harley Davidson based. And for those of you that know, uh, I ride a Victory cross country and I have a Indian Roadmaster. And because of that, I was like, well, do you have anything that actually fits one of those bikes? So they ended up coming back and saying, hey, we have these uh, highway pegs there, you know, anything that fits a one and a quarter inch bar. And I was like, well, that should work. Uh, and recently when I got the Indian, I took the uh, highway pegs off my Victory and put them on the Indian. But because they're all black, I thought it would be much nicer to take those and put them back on the Victory and put these on the Indian because they were kind of black and chrome. They kind of have that nicer look. I think that would fit my Indian. Anyways, not a bad price, uh, 80 bucks. Now, just realize if you are like me and would have to have these shipped to Canada, that's $80 US and there is, it looks like a $20, $21 import custom shipping fee that you have to get put on that. Uh, there is a 10% as of time of filming a discount. So you, it kind of, you know, you're going to come in around probably the 100, 100 and change dollars Canadian. Uh, somewhere in that ballpark, uh, maybe more because I can't do math very good. Anyways, you're looking at four stars right now. Uh, it does look like they have a little video here if you click on it. And if that video is, if, if, if it's worthwhile, if it's worthwhile, I'll put it up here so you guys can see it. Anyways, uh, yeah, four stars. So I don't, I don't know how you really review um, highway pegs. They are. Oh, these ones are all black. They, the picture. I'm not wrong here, right? The picture does look like it should be. Oh, they do sell a chrome version and a black version. Oh, I got the all black version. Well, now I'm just like, well, they would go on either. But that's that's cool either way. Anyways, they're, they're good and heavy, you know, nice and heavy. I think those will go on fairly simple, right? It's just the, the standard clamp that on there, clamp that onto your bar, figure out where you want to put it, and uh, you're off to the races. It's not, not anything too compl complicated. You know, you are going to have some uh, bars, little, little washers that go in here as well, just to make sure everything uh, kind of fits properly. Um, I, think, I think that's it. That's, there's not a whole lot that comes with this, right? They do, there's your bolts, right? Nice, good, good side bolts. They do have a little instruction manual. Okay. I don't know how, retract the foot peg. Yes. I don't know what that is. Just kind of, kind of shows, I guess, up, down adjustments, right? Kind of shows where you're going to, I guess, fit it. All right. Just in case you're unsure, I guess, times two, times two, times two, times two. Yeah. The only thing I wish that a lot of these would come with was they don't seem to. I do wish they would come with like a, almost like a rubber insert that goes in, 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 in this section. Cause I do find sometimes you, sometimes you just, you just can't quite get them tight enough, you know? So it'd be nice to have a little rubber insert there so that it snugs and then has like a, almost like a stickiness that is there so that Maybe I'm just whining. I don't know. Maybe I'm just whining. Anyway, I'm going to go install them. You really don't need to watch me install. I'm going to install them and then uh, I'll show you what they what they look like. And then I'm going to I'm going to maybe go for a ride tomorrow cuz I'm starting to feel better. Uh and uh we'll, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, uh stay tuned. All right, so I'm just outside. There they are right there on the bike. Here's the bike. Uh and these are the old ones that I have on here. So, uh 
this is kind of what I was talking about. Just, you know, if I really lean into these, see how I can move them. That's, that's my only issue I have sometimes with getting that. Now, depending on how you kick these out, that maybe won't be an issue. But because of the way I had these ones placed, because I like to be able to put my foot off to the side, I kind of placed them this way. I may do it differently, but for me, because the floorboards on both the Victory and the Indian are so big, I find if I have the pegs way out here, it's actually hard for me to reach them. So I kind of like them here, but we shall see. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna install the next ones, these new ones, these ones right here, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got them on. You can see there they are on that side, right there. Yes, on, very nice. And on that side as well, you can see it's on. I have to maybe do some fine adjustments just to make sure they're in the exact right position. But, uh, see this bolt right here? You may be able to see it at the top. See, there's a nasty, the thread is not good. And because of that, I couldn't use this bolt. So, Luckily for me, I did have the extra set of highway pegs that I took the bolt out of those. Now that bolt was not the same size as this bolt. So um, this part here, I use from the old mount because it has the same kind of teeth and everything. But this is the new one. And on this side over here, it's actually the old one. You can kind of tell it looks a little dirty, but it fits. So that's okay, but I'm gonna reach out to them to say, hey, that, that's not great. You know, that's not great. Hopefully they'll either send me a new bolt or a new kit or something, but you can see like right in there, like it, it couldn't, it just couldn't thread because of that. And I'm sure that's easily fixable and it's probably easy to go get another one of these bolts, but you shouldn't have to. That's the key, right? You shouldn't have to. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to reach out to them, and I'll leave a comment down below to let you know what uh, happened after they've uh, heard from me and we've talked. All right, uh, check the comments below to see the update. Later.